good day everybody on this video you're going to learn how to trade your cryptocurrency using the binance exchange okay so if you're registered on the binance exchange binance.com now the first thing to do if you want to use your mobile phone to trade download the binance app on your play store if you're using android then or if you're using a iphone you can download it on your apple store so once you open your binance app make sure you are registered okay now you it will be like this you'll be seeing things like this okay so the first thing to do is to deposit cryptocurrency into your binance platform just click on deposit once you click on deposit now it will ask you which coin do you want to deposit you can deposit bitcoin drawn ethereum usdt whichever coin you have on your external wallet okay now the first let's um deposit let's assume we want to deposit um ethereum for instance click on the eth ethereum once you click on ethereum it will bring out your your binance ethereum wallet address which is this so just click on copy address so once you copy your address go to your external wallet and send in ethereum to your binance so once you send in the ethereum you will be seeing the ethereum in your wallet by once you click on wallets at the bottom of your screen right up part once you click on wallet you'll be seeing the ethereum you have okay now look at the ethereum i have i've already sent into my um binance wallet so now the next thing to do if you want to trade now we'll be trading on spot which is this one not on margin okay or futures or peer-to-peer -peer. we want to trade on spots okay so now the next thing to do is to go back to markets once you click on markets click on fiat then click on usdt the reason why you're doing this so that it can be btc slash usdt ADA slash usdt or whichever coin slash usdt because the reason why we are trading a usdt against any other coin or the coin against usdt because usdt is stable so what we we'll do here the trick here is you buy other coin with your usdt when the coin is low and when the coin is high you sell that coin to receive usdt back because usdt does not flaunt to it okay it's a stable coin for example you have um you buy bitcoin when bitcoin is just forty thousand dollars and bitcoin goes to fifty thousand dollars let me assume you bought one full bitcoin now if you want to sell that bitcoin you sell it to usdt once you sell it to usdt it will be hold as dollar it does not fluctuate okay it will hold it will be hold as fifty thousand dollars so if bitcoin should fall below maybe fifty thousand dollars you can rebuy again and rebuy more than just one bitcoin okay so you trade like that that is how to trade so let's assume that we want to uh sell our ethereum to usdt because let's assume we bought ethereum lower than 1388 so we click on ethereum usdt which is this one now it will take you to the ethereum usdt chart okay so you'll be seeing the chart here it's loading probably there's network little network issue but just click on sell or buy now we want to sell ethereum we don't want to buy ethereum because we already bought ethereum we have ethereum and ethereum has grown and we have some profit now okay probably we bought the ethereum one at 1300 and ethereum now is now 1389 so we want to make we want to sell it so that we can take out some profit okay so you click on sell once you click on sell now it will take you to this uh, other page whereby you'll be seeing the transaction that is going on i'm trying to refresh so you can see the buyers and the sellers price the network is disturbed now it will take you to this part now you'll be seeing transaction going on at this part and on this part buyers and sellers exchanging um prices now the next thing to do here is now you make sure that you're on spot one if you're not on spot click on spot secondly make sure if you want to sell make sure you click on sell then the next thing make sure you're on limits okay 
we have market we have limit we have a stop limit we have oco so make sure you're on limits the reason why you're choosing limit limit the fee is very very low on limits the fee that you'll be paying okay the transaction fee probably the exchange fee white trading the trading fee is very very low or it's just like almost nothing okay make sure you're on limit now this other part here is to set the price in which you want to sell your ethereum so which price do you want to sell your ethereum do you want to sell your ethereum at the price of 1389.16 dollars okay so once you have put in the price you want to sell your ethereum okay per ethereum now the next thing to do is to put in the amount of ethereum you want to sell so let's assume we want to sell you'll be seeing your total ethereum that you have in your wallet here at this bottom here okay so let's assume we want to sell in um zero zero point um zero two let's assume we want to sell in zero point zero two and at which price per ethereum we want to sell it at i want to sell it at 1400 dollars per ethereum 1400 dollars per ethereum okay so i'm selling it i'm selling my 0 0.02 ethereum that i have at 1400 so when ethereum gets to 1400 dollars 0.02 ethereum will be sold and i will receive 28 dollars worth of usdt which is this stable coin here you're seeing here so i'm going to please click on sell once i click on sell you see the market order will appear here okay are you seeing it so once the market has not been executed yet because it's a sell limit because i'm placing on the order on a price that is not yet reached by ethereum so when it gets to 1400 automatically the transaction the transaction will take place and i will receive 28 dollars worth of usdt okay and 0 0.02 ethereum will be deducted from my ethereum balance okay so i've sold part of my ethereum at 1400 by ethereum so i say the same thing applies to when you want to buy ethereum or when you want to buy usdt for example you want to you have sold probably you have ethereum and ethereum, you, you saw that ethereum wants to fall ethereum wants to start falling it wants to start depreciating and you want to sell your ethereum to usdt so what you do you click on buy so you want to buy usdt okay so once you click on buy now it will tell you that you want to um how much you want to buy so it will not if you want to buy now you want to buy ethereum sorry i made a mistake yeah you want to buy ethereum yeah is to sell ethereum now you want to buy ethereum now you already have usdt okay you want to buy ethereum at a low price okay so let's assume that you want to buy ethereum when ethereum falls to 1293 okay now how many how much ethereum do you want to buy or probably how many dollars worth of usdt do you want to use to buy your ethereum so what you do you put the amount of usdt you have here so i have um I have 20 USD, 20.46 USDT in my wallet. So what I will do, since I want to use the old USDT to buy Ethereum, I will just type in the USDT I have here. So I will type in 20 points. Let me just as well, I want to use 20. Now it will now show me that that my 20 USDT, $20 USDT will buy 0 0.015 Ethereum when Ethereum falls to 1293 okay so i will just click on buy once i click on buy sussex you see it will appear at the bottom so i have and i have two transactions running here okay this is just a simple way to trade cryptocurrency so you can trade every other coin like that now if you want to trade every other coin you just click on market go to market select the coin you want to trade Make sure you have USDT. You have already exchanged your coin 
to USDT. So USDT is a stable coin which you can use to buy every other coin and sell back to USDT. Okay, so if you want to trade on Polkadot, which is this one now, just click on market. Okay, once you click on market, it will show you the market of polka dots. You can forecast polka dots. If you see polka dots is falling or rising, you buy when it's going up and you sell when it's about to fall. Okay, so now polka dots is currently going up. I can click on buy. Once I click on buy, now I have I don't have any USDT. Assuming I have USDT, I would have just typed in the amount of USDT I want to buy and type in the, the price I want to buy. This polka dot i might want to buy it at the current market price because it's currently going up it will not drop at that particular moment so i'll buy it at that price and i'll sell it when the price has gone probably polka dots are risen to like 40 50 dollars i will not sell it once i sell it i'll sell it back to usdt and you see that my usdt will be more okay so i've made some profit so that is how to trade on the binance platform when it's the spot when you're trading on the spot okay so on another video we're going to make how to trade on futures and zones and every other one and how to use the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, binance platform okay so thank you very much for watching this short video please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much my name remains sonny